Yes, yes, you too. Welcome to Wallaroo. Yes, yes, you too. This is the Northern Territory. Come over here for the weekend just to see Ullaroo or Ayers Rock. It's known as Ullaroo now, if you didn't know that. Just checked into the apartment. We are with a couple of friends who are up ahead who are sharing an apartment with us. And we're just here for the weekend, Friday till Monday. I'm not sure if the mic's picking it up, but it is quite windy at the minute. There has been a big hurricane over on the west coast. So hopefully we're not going to get too much wind and rain while we're here. We're not going to get the hurricane, but off the weather from that is heading this way. So it's quite cloudy at the minute. Apparently it's been mid 30s for the last three months with very little rain. Now it's going to drop down to mid 20s, literally overnight. But anyway, the room's not ready now. Just going to go and get some food. And then we'll have a look around the room and let you know first impressions of Ullaroo. At the minute, though, it's all I can say is it's warm and windy. <laughs> Apartment. This is Big Bad Alex. <laughs> Another Yorkshireman. <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. Seating's down there. It's just a two bedroom apartment. The girls are just making a lot of racket. So. Who's claimed the rooms? Yeah. We haven't claimed a room. No, I don't, I'm not fast in this one. No, we, oh, there's a double bed and then there's two twin beds. Yeah, Obviously, I'm going to try and claim the double bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty cool, but as you've probably just seen. As you've just seen, attempted a little jittery do work workshop. Well, it was 45 minutes actually. Um, quite hard on all it, just to be fair, in the back of the neck. I don't know if anyone's ever tried that before. Pretty cool though, it'd be good to be able to do it. The guy who was obviously doing the lessons was so good. Obviously, got that on the camera. And now, gonna unpack, get a shower, because I think we're heading out to the the light show this evening. And we'll see what's there. I'm not sure if there'll be much to pick up on the camera, but we'll take it anyway. See what we get, and that'll be day one. We are due a thunderstorm tonight, and we've been told we should really get out to the Ayers Rock to see that, to see the waterfalls on the rock, so we'll just see what happens. Keep the camera anyway with me. Do to day one, then tune in with you tomorrow for day two. Let's go. Oh, that oof, is all over at sunrise, <laughs> basically. So I know last time I was on here, I was meant to be going to the Field of Light. That didn't happen, it got cancelled because of Hurricane Isla, I think it was, that hit Western Australia. It's like the worst storm we've had in. 40 years I think so it's really bad over there we're on getting the edge of the hurricane so there's been lots of bad weather here um, yeah that got cancelled so ended up having a beer we went to Ayers Walk noodle bar and got in bed 
and now we're here 5 30 pick up to get the sunrise but it's still raining it cloudish and right, starting to rain again now so don't know how much footage we'll get today but we'll see this probably vlog is going to be a weekend vlog now because the footage is going to be quite limited but after today we're meant to be clearing up again still going to be cold it's cold now but yeah because of the weather we didn't even get a sunrise there so anyway back to the coach and then we're going to do a lap of Ayers Rock Come down the bloody track for that, and not many people will ever see on the road like this. This deep, this waterfall. Just going to take, take a few minutes and have a look at. You can see behind me. It's all spilt over, all on the path. So it's like ankle deep. It's worth it. Later. The last destination for today, the sun's setting that way behind the camera. This should now start to get more red, basically, just with the colours and the sunlight ultimately because the sun's the furthest away it will start refracting i think is the correct word the blue light therefore this looks redder against the sky and the contrast makes it look like it's going to glow hopefully anyway with the sunset i'm gonna leave this here now get last few shots back to the resort get some food back up tomorrow 5 a.m 5 30 pick up then we're going to see some other rocks in the desert. And, uh, weather should be like this, so shouldn't be as wet, probably will be as cold, but Northern Territory, it's not always as hot as the sea. See you later. <laughs> 